Hi, I'm Heather Dunhill here at the Met with Joffrey Michael, owner, who's going to show us some great tips on how to tie a tie. So for the guys, we're starting with skinny tie, and to you. Heather, the, the great thing about neckwear right now is there's really a few different dimensions of ties, and we're going to start off with a 7 millimeter. And the way to tie it is very important because it's you, you don't want the tie to look odd within the collar space. So what I'm going to show you is the correct way to tie the knot, and then we're also going to move on to a 9 millimeter tie where we're going to tie a much fuller knot. One of the most important things with tying a tie is the fact that, A, guys should really kind of just relax because I think at times a guy will go to tie a tie and he's already thinking about the fact that he's going to be uncomfortable. But if you work around with a tie, and I'm doing this somewhat blind um, because it's, it's routine for me, and the more you get comfortable with it, you just kind of make it work. Now what I've done is crossed over the wide over the skinny and then I wrap it once more. Now if you watch me tie the tie, the whole attitude of the tie circles around the fact that we're not yanking on it, we're not tugging it, we're not pulling it, we're just kind of working it through. So that's wrapped over two whole times and we bring that wide part back through the throat end of the knot. That then comes through a small little section that becomes the front of the knot and the most focal point of the knot. From here, what you'll see me do is work with the tie. I'm not going to yank on this. I'm not going to yank on this. I'm going to just work it together. There's no reason to pull a tie and make it tighter and more firm than it should be. So now I've got the general shape of my tie, and now it's time for me to button the throat of the shirt. One of the most important things with a shirt collar dimension, which is part of the tie expression, is to be sure that your dress shirt fits right. Because if you're buying a collar that is too big or too small, it's only going to make it more uncomfortable and not look right for the tie. If you see what I'm doing now, I'm just working real slow and working that up. I'm pushing the knot up as I'm holding the tail steady. Part of the effect of a skinny tie, and to get the tie right, obviously we have this extra that we have to deal with. That's real simple and it's something that should be done all the time. You'll see on the back of the necktie there is always a tack loop. That tack loop, you simply loop it through. Again, gracefully, so you're not pulling anything too much. And all that does is slide in between the buttons of the shirt. It works down and gets tucked in. A, that holds your tie too closer to your body, and B, it keeps everything lined up. Now, it's real simple to bring that collar back down, and it's a simple roll of the thumb and the forefingers to roll that collar down so there is no tie showing towards the back of the neck. Here we are with our tie, and then, again, we just gradually work that tie up. We work that down from the bottom, and again, throughout the whole process, I never yanked on the tie, I just worked it around. So that is a skinny tie. 